Hello and welcome to a Doctor Who review of the Build Your Own Sonic Screwdriver set. set. Um, today I'll be reviewing the three main casings. That is the ones that come as a standard, which I've tried to match up as best I can. Um, and the sound effects. Now, if you listen to the sound effects, rather good sound effect, then you press it again, you get a high pitched one. Um, now, this is rather nice uh, because it, it sounds more like the show rather than the David Tennant sound chip they eventually put in the um, original Matt Smith set. Also, obviously, it doesn't have the flip up cap, but it does have like a kind of flat surface to oh, focus oh, never mind. um yeah so a flat bit there uh and also the button given the nature of the mechanics of the prop is a bit hard to press and um because of the way that the lighting works the whole thing isn't quite illuminated actually uh, yeah so basically it's a simple mechanism to change a sonic you just twist parts out and then there's this kind of core kind of heart of the sonic that you can remove The only trouble with this particular handle is um, the speaker grill is right where you want to put your finger. I'll be guiding you through the particular model I like the most in a minute. Well, I just build this one. It has a wobbly head for some reason. That's just a casing, isn't it? it literally, it just it buzzes. A slightly thin paintwork on here. Um, of course, it has the glowing thing, which, when it's inactive, you can see has Gallifrey and symbols, but the camera glow. Oh, my sister commented that this head looks a little like Morbius's kind of brain thing. Which I suppose it does really. And they're all supposed to be based on maybe uh, some section of Time Lord technology. Now i show you my favourite singular casing. of all the um, modules. <sighs> Slots together rather neatly, which is nice and it's not wobbly like some of the others. Anyway, um, yeah, here it is. It has a very nice glow, which is nice to see. There's like all these little kind of holes, and the head is reminiscent of the um, classic series head. The base kind of is quite cool with its. Motive. In fact, the the um also this bit here is rather similar to kind of the David Tennant thing. It's even got like a swirly bit inside, like David Tennant's Sonic. 
but yeah, I'll also show you my favourite configuration of the Sonic. Right. This core is middle. Now, in order to fit them together, there are two very subtle arrows placed on the thing. You have to turn them around. If you have a bit of trouble with it, you just need to um, push the core in a bit further, twist it around a bit, and try and push the um, light and sound core in a bit further. And then this is my default kind of setting for the Sonic because. It's just the one I like the most. It kind of goes Tech, Time Lord, Tech, Time Lord, because I name them Doctor, um, Tech, and Time Lord, because the Tech one looks like just a machine. Time Lord one looks very Time Lordy. The Doctor's one is obviously the Doctor's. So yeah, it has this really nice kind of readout thing and the, the classic style head and stuff like that. Now, you may have had it comes with. I'll be down here in a minute. You may have had it comes with like, extra sounds like this, but trouble with these is if you use them too much. They can actually um, stop it making sound for a little while, and then you might kind of need to leave it to cool off, which is a shame. So that's my review. Uh, I hope you like the toy. It's quite a nice toy to have because you know it's fun to build your own sonic screwdriver. I've also shown you my favourite way of having it. Apparently, there's 80 combinations you can have. Um, I haven't actually done the maths personally, or tried out 80 combinations, but, yeah. So there's the one niggle which is, well, there's a few niggles which is occasionally heads or, um, like, feet are a bit wobbly. And, um, sometimes the sound's short out if you use the extra sound a bit too much. Another interesting thing, I'll just give you a show quickly. You can take a base and put a head where it should be. So you can kind of have this double ended thing, which kind of is the, the original prop was supposed to have feet, but instead they gave the kind of mandible. So that's kind of like how the original prop might have been. Uh, but of course it doesn't light up because the light doesn't come out of the other end. Still, it's it's just an interesting little kind of thing. Also, it means that when you turn it upside down, it looks a bit like a spanner. Like a double-ended spanner type thing. Anyway, bye!